All right, so in this video you can see I'm um, sorting out the uh, rust on the top of the case here. Um, it's really, really bad on the top of the case. It's completely covered in pits and holes and there's actually some raised up parts as well. Um, the top of the case is the worst part. The sides aren't quite as bad. actually using a flat head screwdriver there to scrape off the raised up parts just uh, the, the rust is at into the metal it's actually pushed the surface of the metal up particular attention to the bad or the big uh, pits, the big holes. Just going over them with my fingertip, making sure that they're smooth and I'm going to show up once the paint goes on. That's what it looks like after the majority of the sanding. It's pretty rough, but it's all sort of level and there's no parts sticking up. So the paint that I'm using is a high fill primer, which should, in theory, cover up the majority of these pits. It's sort of like a self leveling paint. using uh, acetone again here to clean off the surface. This is used by you know, car paint guys. It's like a final wipe over before you actually paint it. it takes off any grease, dirt, loose particles, that sort of thing. And you can actually see how quick it evaporates off the surface there. <laughs> Here I'm actually heating the metal up slightly with a blowtorch. Um, the metal was stone cold, never good to spray on freezing cold metal. It can actually give a, can, you know, like a reaction and the paint won't stick. So although it looks like I'm heating this up red hot, it's just sort of you know warm to the touch or quite warm to the touch. It's not burny, it wouldn't burn your hand. So I went over the whole thing here, heated it up to a nice temperature before I put the first coat of primer on. The first 
first few coats of primer that I put on uh, on the top particular I sprayed it let it dry and then I sanded it right back to the metal again so that in theory the primer would be left in the, the holes of the, the rust pits um, then I would spray it again um, do the same but I sand it right back to bare metal trying to basically fill in those holes left by the, the rust so this is me starting with the wet and dry sand. This is a slightly smoother sandpaper. So uh, use this between each coat basically. And yeah, wet and dry. Um, it's very good for sand down paint. This would be the water use the sandpaper um, so I've, I've done this a couple of dozen times I've just coat after coat and let it dry sand it another coat let it dry sand it like I said it's taken me days If you can see here, I have sanded it right back to the bare metal, just leaving the, you know, the paint still in the holes there. Then go ahead and put another few coats on here and then sand it back down again. I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera here but this is after uh, doing the same thing, thing two or three times sanding it down and spraying it and then coming back sanding it down and spraying it so there's probably a couple of coats two or three coats on here at the minute and it's looking really really nice that uh, primer has covered up a shitload of the pitting from there's a few bits you can see. Let's see if we can get the camera to pick some up here. So you can see if I can get my finger in that shot, you can see just know how small these are. So overall already it's looking absolutely fantastic. So I just need to keep doing the same thing uh, over and over, you know, just sand it down smooth it, spray it, sand it down, spray it again, uh, basically until all these are gone. There's quite a significant one there. Um, what I might actually do is come across, you know, uh, deep ones like this and just hit it with a good direct spray, close-up spray of the paint. So the paint actually fills in the hole and then I can, you know, smooth it over again. But yeah, already it's looking really good. Let's see if we can get uh, a decent shot of the side here. The side is looking really nice. You see there's a few pits there. You can actually can't actually see that with my eye, but I can spot it through the viewfinder of the camera. And then the other side here, if I can do this without dropping it, 
This is the, the better side. This side had very, very little pitting to start with. So the majority of them are just uh, because the paint needs sanded down. There's a few there, but again, I can't see them with my eye. But the camera's picking them up. But yeah, very happy with it so far. Sorry about the dodgy angle there. So I'm just going to continue on here. Just sand down with the uh, wet and dry sandpaper. Smooth it out, spray it, smooth it out and spray it. 